Kindly click on the subscribe button, bell icon and also like, comment and share. Hello friends, welcome to the Camworks Beginners Tutorial Part 2. Okay, so in the earlier part, that is part 1, uh, we have seen uh, what are the basic uh, interface of the software, uh, what change is available at which place. Okay. So today we will discuss further, uh, like say, let's start from the command manager. So command manager, as I told you, it is at the top of the window, right? Over here, you can see that is, first option is define machine. If you click on that, the window will appear like this. So if you have mill machine, that is a vertical milling center, VMC, you can select a VMC 3-axis machine or a 4-axis machine or a 5-axis machine, right? If you are having a turning machine that is a lathe machine either it will be a horizontal or either it will be a vertical you can select the uh, turning machine if you have a single turret machine right if you have a dual turret machine right wherein you can hold the tools at two different turrets then you can select a dual turret machine for a dual operation if you have a multi turret that is a swiss turn machine right so for that you can select a multi turret machine okay if you have a mill turn machine a machine which has both the functionalities of uh, milling and turning then in the same way you can select it for, for a single turret a dual turret or a multi turret machine apart from all the milling operations or turning operations if you have a wire ADM machine then you need to select a wire ADM machine so the basic concept between the selection of machines is that whatever machines you have you have to select that machine and you can perform the activities on that okay after selecting the machine let's say i'm uh, having a three axis machine right the next is the tool tree right the tool crib means uh, you can define the tool crib by yourself that means what are the tools available in your company or in your industry what you possess uh, the all the tool uh, list will be uh, configured over here that will be customized and you can select it which tool crib do you want uh, like say for an example if you create a two tool crips one is for a softer material like plastic nylon aluminium right or one is for the harder materials like ms ss or pn20 or whatever whatever right so for that you have covered uh, another parts of tools so you can create n number of uh, tool crips and that will be listed over here so you can select it from there also Right. over here there is a post processor that means the output which you want is for what controller either it is a Mitsubishi that is a Mitsubishi M80 controller or it will be a Siemens 828D or it will be a Fano or it will be a Haas it will be a Mazda right it will be a, a DMG for controller head and end so post processor basically uh, converts the software language into machine language so you need to select the post processor which is valid for your machine okay after doing that uh, you can select the posting options right you want a cool def uh, defined coolant from the tool or from the post processor so the, you may uh, want tool or to coolant or coolant not that you can define even you can define the tool line uh, tool dia and the length offset that you also you can define from the post processor so that control needs to be defined with from there Right, so all that data are con configured in your post. Okay, from setup you can define where are your uh, coordinate system. Like say, what is will be your uh, WPS, WCS, that is the work coordinate system. Either it will be from the uh, center or it will be from the corner or it is the this corner or this corner, right? Or it, it is at the bottom. So you can select it wherever you want. Right. if you select this if you select this the work coordinate system will be there okay apart from that uh, you can define it by yourself for example let's say if i want a center of this so you can select that and the xyz will be there if you want to change the directions you can change the directions let's say i want x on this direction so you can select it as per your requirement okay if you are going for a 4-axis and 5-axis machine or in 4-axis you are going for an HMC then you need to define the rotary and tilting axis right 
let's say if I have a 4 axis machine and I will select that ok I will define a setup over here at the top ok and I will define that rotary is around my X like this or it is around Y or it is around Z so you can define it by yourself if you are having a 5 axis machine select it 5 axis define the coordinate system ok and then again you can define the rotary axis as well as tilting axis so all these parameters will be defined as per the machine selection if I am having just VMC I will just say VMC ok so I have just done a machine selection ok then you can have a stock manager that means the raw material ok so you can define it uh, the stock manager uh, the stock manager dialog box will be the, uh, taught you later how it is been defined ok the same thing which we have defined from the command manager will be here also you can click right click on the machine and say edit definition right you can edit that machine over here also apart from right click if you double click on it then also you can have the same window for the definition again the stock manager double click on that again you will have that same window right same way if you right click and say edit definition then also one and the same so you can use the command uh, from the command manager and also from the feature tree right? wherever you are comfortable you can uh, use that tools ok now let's go and uh, see what stock manager contains right? so stock manager basically uh, contains the one type that is bounding box so uh, from your model it will uh, have all the maximum and minimum values and it will create a stock material like this over here you can see the stock size that is from x it is 306 on y it is 152 and on z it is 25 mm right ok now if you want to change the stock material let's say uh, I want to have 5 mm extra materials on x y and z all the three types so like this I have extended my raw material or else you can say I want only on the z direction that is on the top side like this not on the x and y so that can be defined ok so that is one type the second type is if you have uh, make a sketch let's say I am making a sketch over here like this you can also give dimensions that it will be a 12 mm offset from this line and you can make such sketch as per your uh, requirement or as per the raw material which you possess like this I will make a 2D sketch and now I will go into the stock manager then another uh, step is extrude sketch that is another method in which I will select this sketch provide the height uh, for example say 30 mm over here you can see it is going downward I can reverse my direction like this so it will be a 30 mm stock in Z and right? if you click on it you can see and in X and Y you can see the extra materials which I have made right so all that stuff you can define from the stock manager what type of stock manager do you have right so uh, the tool path which we generate will be basically from the stock which you have defined the raw material which you have defined so it is very much important to define what the raw material is of right so today we have seen two things right the first is the machine definition that how uh, you need to define a machine what are the types of machine then what is tool create what is the a post processor which you need to select uh, according to your controller the machine have then we have uh, setting of the machines like say if you have 4 axis or 5 axis machine how the rotary tinting axis can be set so that will be a basic overview of you select then we have uh, seen how stock manager works right what are the types of uh, things which you can control it from the stock manager okay 
so these are the two basic things which you need to have for uh, creating a toolpath the first step is define machine the second step is stock manager